All right, we're good and ready. Hello everyone, Ragamune here. Welcome you back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Oh god, I'm at a loss for words. I got a splitting headache right now. It's not a headache headache, it's like just... I gotta move my neck around or something. My shoulders are all stiff. Enough about that though. Today, Colossus. Hey, check out. I can sing. Oh my god! Their voices are literal magic! What? <laughs> ah! Uh, fun fact! This was a demo level that you could play uh, if you punched in the special command in CTR Crash Team Racing. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There you are. Ugh, excuse me. Anyways, by concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. The Reignited Trilogy messed up on one big issue. There is no option to have the man sing. Exact I mean there's there's no there's no sound clip for that in the entire Reignited Trilogy. Come on. Was a Y I Y Y L so hard to recreate? It was such a good sound. Hey, look, it's an ox. And he's gonna he's gonna perform the sonic spin dash on us. Literally, he was trying to spin on us like Sonic. Let's kill the penguin. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Three, two, one. God, I love that sound clip. She's gonna tell us about those yaks that are too big to charge. Kill you, kill you. Ah. Come down here, it's not a bottomless pit. How many people were tripped up by that, by the way, thinking that was a bottomless pit? I know I was as a kid. Get those. Stay down here. Extra life. Love that sound. I don't know if I mentioned it in, uh, my, pre in my previous LP of Spyro 3, but I, I always look at... The, I remember as a kid, I always looked at the life count as like a level count. Because I really got into RPGs later. Anyways. Hey, look what I can do. And he'll just keep singing it, too. It's glorious. There's gems. Get those. So one over there? No. I don't want your advice, Zoe. When I want your advice, I'll ask for it. I'll play it safe and just charge them. Your horns are better than these guys. Take that. Anyways, glide over here. And you are now dead meats. You are now dead meats. There we go. Now I don't have to feel like I'm yelling. Ah. Let's see. Do I, can I go over there? No. So let's just glide back. I don't know why I can't come out of that. I, I don't know why I can't come out of a glide out of that. There we go. Wasn't letting me go out of a glide. I was mashing X at the time. Oh, okay. I'm using an Xbox controller, so A. 
What, I've had this controller for years. Each time you defeat That's the spirit particle system they're explaining away. Alright. Hit that. Yeah, I am losing my footing. And my placing. And my nose. Dear lord, is it itchy. Come up here, get those gems. Come around here, get these gems. And, um, oh, speaking of which, the gem raider that you're seeing me use here, so he wants to activate. Yeah, the gem raider you're seeing me use here, uh, you can use this thing at the very beginning of the game, so you have no reason to knock at all the gems in each level. Because they literally give you the exact thing you need. Leave my professor man alone. Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. I'm sure I would too. Oh, man. That head... That, it might not even be a head. It might be just a small migraine. Anyways, yeah. Um, uh, get a load of that. And then they breathe easy every time we flame them. Nice. So, let's see if we can, uh, relieve these guys of their statue issue. Come in here. Hey, look. Ice cave. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta search for some of these. Like, they're not just in plain sight. I also wonder how long I can go before I die for the first time. Hey, look, 1080 gems. That's a nice, that's a nice uh, N64 racing game. I should probably do an LP on it sometime. I'm gonna get the controller for it. Come down here. Yeah, I thought there was no way to get there. Let's fly in. Give me elixir. Splat. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> anyway, Boo! I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Bark, bark. You're not funny. Why do monks always try to tell dumb jokes? And I mean dumb jokes. Anyways, there's a nice little statue back here. Along with ice, uh, one thing that they did that uh, they vastly improved on in the third game, like when you step on ice in this game, you're automatically sent forward. It's much better in t it's much better in three when uh, you have full control over where you're going on the ice. But here, it's just like driving a car. Speaking of ice physics, oh hey, that's all the gems, neato. Welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Yes, I would. I would like to shoot hockey pucks at a guy. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Easy. Let's go. Bring on your goalie. So yeah, you just have to score points. It's pretty easy. And I like how every time you every time you uh, load it up, go Rio, go! Oh wait, that's soccer. Give me the damn puck. What's even worse is uh, skipping ahead a little bit. The uh, goalie for your side will just flat out shoot the puck away from you. He is not that fun to be around. Actually, I think he yeah, I think he does try to shoot it to this guy all the time. And juke. But yeah, shooting the five goals is no, is uh, no is no hard task. The next one's a bit challenging, but only a bit. Oh. 
There we go. Let's see if I can juke him the other way. That's all it is, you just juke him. Well done! Have this! There's one orb. Would you like to try a game of one on one? I'm sorry, did you say one on one? Can we roughhouse? The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. Alright. <laughs> Get ready for this. Yeah, you stay away from my puck. Now, where the hell is it? Ah, it went right past me. Oh, no, you don't. My puck. Did you just shoot it for him? Well, I have to give up this challenge. Hold up. I believe if I exit the rink, I stop playing the game. Did I tell you I played? All right, so he got a point against me, so I can just restart the game. See, I knew I'd fail massively doing this. Give me that puck. Anyways, there is a skill point task for you to do here. Hey, give me my puck. Anyways, watch this. So, come up here. Come up here. I believe if you are very careful, I can just aim it right there. And then I can just score like that. Come on. <laughs> Easy. That's two. That is my puck, thank you very much. And juke. That's three. Let's take the cheap shot this time. Go! One more to go. And there's a skill point. Eat up, Sparks. Well done! If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Is that a philosophical thing, or is that just the orb of confusion, then? Ha! Get it? It's an orb. Ha <laughs> I'm good. Oh, and even better. <laughs> like, if you talk to him again. You can keep practicing if you want, but you have to be off the ice by six. So in short, <laughs> so in short, I keep flaming the, the dumb bear, the uh, dumb bear hockey player until kingdom come. Until 6 o'clock at night. I, uh, hope he's got a good medical plan. Nah, I'm not gonna bully the bear. Let's see, go here. I s I'm surprised that didn't work. So there's 6. In here will be 7. Once we get this done, it's level complete. Then we can go home. Ah, I like Spire. It's a nice game to just sit down, relax, drink your favorite beverage. 
Let's play through it a nice brisk at casual pace, you know? Just feel like you're not in a hurry for anything. Well done, Spyro! You've scared the evil spirit away! Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Eh, they don't need it. <laughs> he literally stole- he literally jacked their shit. <laughs> Damn it, Professor. Bum, ba, da, bum. We're done! Off to the portal! We. It shows that all their voices are different. <laughs> he just committed casual murder. <laughs> Don't worry, no one actually dies in this game. Even the Yeti did not die. He was just, you know, he just suffered a mild he just suffered him he just suffered a mild bruise, nothing big. Oh, I do like this game. Let's see, what level do we show off next? Yeah, let's go over an old uh, nemesis of mine. Speaking of which, real real quick, I, I definitely prefer Allure's design in this game rather than her reignited counterpart. And it is not because I am nostalgia biased. It is strictly because she, like, when you think of PS1 limitations from back then, she looks and sounds like she's a lot more experienced, like she's more of a big sister. When I looked at the when I looked at the Alora in uh, when I, <laughs> I can't even get my words together when I looked at the Alora in uh, the Spire Reignited trilogy for this game uh, for this particular game she looked a lot more I want to just I think I, I think it describes her good she looked a lot more Skylanders ish than you know, this. I mean, just imagine a more aged-up version of her. Like, she can still wear all the same stuff. I'll say this, though. At least they gave her pants. Well, something like that. They covered her nethers. Something like that. No, I don't know. I don't know what the hell to call it. In any case, uh, that's going to do it for today. Next time we meet, we are going to go through... And if I can read this right with my uh, invisible glasses, Huracos. Oh, just you wait for the voices of that place. This is Red Moon is signing off. You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. And as it is snowing, drive safe. See you later. Take it easy.